So my topic for the project is the application of word embeddings in Isuzulu to extract discourse atoms. Um, the motivation for, for this project is um, the fact that uh, English language has been advancing in terms of for research and the use of natural language processing so that it can be understood by the machines. Um, however, African languages have not been advancing as much. Um, this study aims to enhance the understanding of African language through NLP techniques and demonstrate their applicability in extracting valuable insights from these languages. So the focus is on word embeddings for Isuzu language, which is one of the South Afri one of um, a popular African language in South Africa. The goal is to extract discourse item uh, atoms, which are semantic units with multiple meanings based on context from Isuzu improving its interpretability by machines. The research question is how can word embeddings be effectively developed and applied in Isuzulu to provide Isuzulu atoms of discourse? Uh, and as I've already mentioned, the objectives are to develop these large scale Isuzulu word embeddings and to extract Isuzulu discourse um, atoms um, for Isuzulu language and to effectively uh, bridge the gap in African language uh, studies such as NLP. The technique here is uh, leveraging embeddings and I follow the same technique used by Aurora 2018 to extract word embeddings. Uh, however, this Aurora study used um, English and the focus of this study is on Isuzulu language. The method is um, to train uh, word embeddings on Isuzulu corpus uh, using word to vec vectorizers such as continuous back of words and skip grams. Uh, I also used um, count vectorizer and TFIDF for comp for comparison, uh, the data sets is uh, a combination of Vukuzenzele and Masakane news, um, just to provide a rich Isuzulu corpus. Um, in terms of extracting the there's uh, atoms of discourse, I used unsupervised machine le uh, machine learning models. Uh, such as the K nearest neighbors and the GMM models. Uh, for my models, I had to pick the, the number of clusters. So I use the elbow, elbow method, um, whereby I pick the cluster that um, has a, mini, um, a minimum um, uh, in Asia. So at, at the elbow, so I picked clusters ranging from five up to, to eight. Uh, I varied my clusters just to see the, 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 the impact. Um, so I also used um, uh, PCA uh, to um, minimize my, the, the number of features after vectorization. Um, so the, the first graph on the left is uh, my clusters uh, when I use uh, the count vectorizer and the second graph is on the right is using the TFIDF and more clusters. Um, here I've got five clusters and on the second chart I've got eight clusters. And these uh, are my results. I could, um, I analyzed two words that have got different meanings in Isuzulu, which is Tala. Uh, and with a count vectorizer, I could get the two meanings of Itala. Um, sometimes it's used um, in court, meaning court case. Uh, so as we can see, it's used with um, Nelson, Robben Island. Um, a jail, which is jail, uh, clearly indicating that this is um, about in this context, Itala is used 
uh, for for a court case. And in the second context, uh, it's used as a like uh, an indication of a position, like you know, when you, you know, when you're talking about two sides. So two sides can be you know, amatala. One side is so itala, and, and another side is itala. And it can also be used for positioning as well. So that's the, the second context. Um, I also analyzed Utringo, which in Isuzulu means a phone uh, or a fence. So for the convectorizer, the, the second context was not identified. However, when we when I used the TFIDF vectorizer, I could get the two uh, contexts for Utringo and the two, two contexts for Itala. Um, Utringo is um, or Iqala here uh, with the TF8 vectorizer is uh, has got the, the same meanings as with the count vectorizer. And when it comes to Utringo, we see the different meanings. Utringo here is used um, as a method of communication with Facebook, uh, online, SMSs. Uh, so it's, it's clearly here. Uh, uh, the um in this context is clearly about um a phone or a phone call Utringo. In the second context, Utringo is used with a, a, in Gadi, which is a garden, uh, which is obviously about uh the fencing of the garden. So that we see an improvement here from the count vectorizer to the TFIDF in terms of identifying these different discourses discourse um and then the continuous spec of words also did better than the count vectorizer um as it could identify both um the mid different meanings for tala and utringo as well as the skip gram um so these two embeddings at the bottom are are doing uh, good in terms of identifying uh, the, the the different meanings for 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 these words. Um, however, TFIDF is also not so bad, uh, but count vectorizer is clearly doing so bad because this 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 vectorizer is all about frequencies, and um, it's not very good at capturing meanings. So. So then the embeddings are doing very good with the TFIDF also not doing so bad. Um, so then with the embeddings and the, the vectorizer, I could uh, extract the atoms of discourse for Isu Zulu language. However, uh, a lot of improvement still needs to be done here because uh, certain words appear differently when they are used um, in different contexts. For example, they are used in the past tense or they are used in plurals. And so now with Isuzu language and most African uh, languages, it's difficult to do lemmatization or stemming so that uh, we can get to the root of the word and then it can be easy. Um, to, to pick that, you know, so the machine can can pick that this is the same word. So the, the cleaning up of, of African languages um, will require manual uh, processes that will take time. So it was not done properly. It's something that needs to be improved for, for, for further research. And thank you.